How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs where we love to share with you things about RVing, how to DIY product reviews, uh, just learning about RV stuff. So today we're going to be covering one of the things that might be one of our favorite projects that we have done on the RV since we have had it. And that is swapping out the couch. You might see that it's uh, slightly different than what you've been used to seeing on the channel. Now, this sofa we found on Rec Pro. They have a ton of stuff on their website. Uh, but this is called the Charles 80 inch recliner sofa. And uh, it checked a lot of boxes for us and why we picked it. Uh, box number one that it checked for us is it had a good reputation. Chris had found some reviews online that of people that have had this couch for a while and that it, they still enjoyed it and that it was holding up. Uh, so we're feeling fairly confident that this couch is going to last us quite a long time and give us a lot of use. So the fact of reading people's reviews that they've been using it for a while and uh, they still enjoy it and it's still in good shape, that was good news for us. But number two is having a comfortable couch. If you're going to have a couch, you're going to want it to be comfortable. If you're going to sit in it for any amount of time, if you're going to watch a movie sitting there on the couch, uh, you want it to be relaxing, you want it to be comfortable, you want to uh, just be able to enjoy the couch while you're sitting in it and not just always looking for a position to try and get comfortable. You want it to be comfortable from square one. So each of the seats, basically we have three recliners in there. So three people out of our family can be comfortable on the couch. The fourth one, you're out of luck. No, actually we have a beanbag chair that it's been the only really comfortable seat in the place when we're watching movies. Uh, but now we have three recliners that we have lined up there. So uh, if we're doing a family movie night or we're having uh, people invited into our rig, you can actually be comfortable in the rig sitting on the couch. It's relaxing, it's nice, watching the Super Bowl, whatever. It is a comfortable couch, I do have to say that. Number three box that it checked for us is our kids are getting bigger. Our family is not as small as they once used to be. No matter how much I tried to keep them from growing up, they're just getting bigger. So this kind of goes along with number two, that it's comfortable for our family. It, it really, it fits our family. Um, so trying to be able to get uh, three people on a couch where there's no reclining happening and you're trying to sit there and watch a movie, it just feels like everybody's sitting in their spot. So this one, it fits our family better uh, because it's basically three recliners. It, it, it provides so much more sitting area. So fitting our family comfortably is a big plus for us. Number four is it was easy to get and it was easy to put in the RV. This is how it ships. It came in three separate boxes, uh, basically because we have the larger couch. It's like a, a three seater. So we have the two ends and then we have the center. And so they come in their individual boxes and then you put it together and there's actually two pieces or multiple pieces in each box. So uh, time to get it put in the RV. They were shipped extremely fast. It was surprising how fast we received them. In reading reviews on the website, it looks like I'm not the only one that was surprised at how quickly the sofa or furniture or whatever you ordered was shipped quickly to your house. So um, that was nice that it showed up so quickly and promptly. But it was easy to carry into the RV because it's basically, you know, it came in those three boxes and it came in two different pieces. So you could carry in the base and then you could carry in the back. And it wasn't like you were trying to fit this massive thing into your RV. We found a couch probably a year and a half ago, uh, but there was no way we were going to be able to get it into the RV, uh, disassemble it, pull out a window. So it, it just wasn't going to happen. And these are meant to come in the door of an RV, which is big. What I'm trying to say is that's a big deal. Not that the RV doors are big, they're, they're tiny. So getting a couch in a door is a big deal. The fifth box that it checked for us is it fit our space. They had a bunch of options online where you could uh, pick whether it was uh, two seats with the center console. It, there was just a lot of configurations on what you might want. So this one fit exactly what we were hoping for. Um, Width-wise, which is extremely important. If it doesn't fit width-wise, then it's not even worth looking at, but it fit width for us and uh, so there was a lot of options there and the nice thing is they call them I think like a zero clearance recliner uh, to where you can push it really close up against the wall this says it needs like 
three inches from the wall to be able to recline fully. And it seems like we're just under that three inches and it doesn't take up a ton of space. It's not like you have to pull it away from the wall in order for it to recline. So it's nice that it, it fits the space. It's not stuck out in the middle of the room and it works well where we need it needed it to work. So uh, it fitting the space was very important for us. We didn't want a couch that's just gonna take over the whole RV living room. The last box that it checked for us is that they had a decent amount of color options and one that Chris really liked so that it would fit into um, our RV already color-wise. So uh, it's not sticking out like a sore thumb or if you had a different color scheme, there were options for that. So we went with the, uh, what was the color? Chestnut. Chestnut. Chestnut's the color. I'm not the color guy. I'm actually a little colorblind. So she picks the colors and uh, she liked the color. Chestnut is what we went with. Now, before we move on to things that I was surprised about with this couch and how to install it and uh, how easy it was, I did see a place on the RecPro website where I was able to make a coupon code for you guys to save 5% on your order. So if you're looking for a couch, a dinette, a vent fan, a, a sink for your kitchen. Uh, they got a bunch of stuff. So uh, I think when we ordered the couch, it was free shipping. Uh, so you get free shipping and save 5%. So if you're interested in anything like that, just put in the code Jared RV. So uh, a few of the things that surprised me about this couch is, well, actually when I ordered it, I thought I ordered the non-powered version of the couch, meaning that there was no power for the, the seats to raise up and down, it was just manual. Um, I accidentally ordered the powered version of the couch. So now I had to get power to uh, the slide. So if you're interested in seeing how I got power to the slide, I just leave that in the comments down below and I'll, I'll make a video on it. Uh, but getting power to the seats and having the powered seats, actually, I, I enjoy it. I didn't think I'd really care about it, uh, but I do like that the seats on the ends are powered. With that being said, I actually like both mechanisms because the center one is manual, you pull a lever and you recline, and the end ones, you press a button and you recline, and both feel solid, both feel good. Um, I do like the ends with power. It has a place where you can, you can charge for your USB device, like if you wanted to charge your phone, and it even has a light for the, the cup holder. I'm not really sure what the light's all about, but uh, maybe it looks good in the showroom, but they have a nice blue light in the cup holder. So just a quick note on the mechanisms for the reclining. Uh, obviously we have one in the middle that's manual, it's not powered and the ends are powered. Um, if you were concerned about not having power in your RV, uh, the manual one, it's easy, you know, there's no power to it. So if you needed to open and close it, it's just a lever that you pull and then you can just close it manually, obviously. Uh, the ones that are powered, if you don't have power to them, I, I don't see a way to be able to close them. So for us, it's not an issue because we either have the inverter connected to the batteries, which we have solar power, and we also have a generator if we needed to get power there. Um, and if you're plugged into an RV park, it's no problem at all. But Typically, we're gonna have an inverter with battery power and uh, that circuit is on the inverter. So not an issue for us, but if you perceive where you might be worried about not having power and being able to use the recliner, put it up and put it down, uh, you might wanna get the manual one. So just something to keep in mind. I didn't see any kind of uh, manual override to be able to open and close it. So just a side note. I like that on that USB charging port, they had a little door that you could slide open and closed. Uh, that way, if you're not using it, you can just leave it closed, no dust or particles or debris can fall in there. So it was nice that they had some attention to that detail. Now, the center seat on ours also folds down. You have a couple extra uh, cup holders in the center if you wanted to, which can kind of act like a table too with those extra cup holders. Now the last thing is the installation and the installation is actually extremely simple for this couch. We made it a little bit more difficult on ourselves because on the old couch, we didn't have any flooring underneath it. And so we replaced the flooring on the entire slide. So we pulled everything off, uh, put vinyl planks down, and we're even trying out uh, a new transition strip. It's this rubber transition that, that bridges that gap. So uh, before we had some wood there and uh, just the durability of it wasn't there. So we're hoping that this turns out better. So I'll let you know how that goes. But the installation of the couch really couldn't be any easier. You don't even need instructions to install it. Maybe that's why they didn't send any instructions. But uh, you just bring in the bases. The bases connect together. You you just slide them together and they, they interlock. Uh, extremely simple. 
and then the backs are just like a normal recliner. I'm sure you've seen how these go together. They have the posts on the base, and then you just, uh, the backs just slide right onto those posts. They click in and lock in, and it really couldn't be any easier. Now, this probably isn't necessary, but I actually took some bolts and I, I bolted the three sections together uh, just to take any movement in the, the way that it locks together. I just take any of that movement out. Um, and so there is a couple of places where I can secure it down to the, the ground. Again, there was no instructions, so it doesn't tell you to do it. Uh, I just don't want this thing sliding around when we're, when we're driving or if the boys sit down and it slides backwards at all. I just, I just want it to be locked in to where we want it. So uh, I'm just going to make sure that I have screws that are not going to go through that slide because the uh, subfloor on the slide is very thin and I don't want to poke through the other side of that. So if you are going to secure your couch to your sl slide, just don't go through it all the way because then you got a big problem. In a nutshell, I'd have to say that we like this couch way better than the one that we had in here originally. So uh, I think that's going to do it for today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you in the next video.